Hello, 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 and welcome to my booktube channel. And I thought that I would do a video of me showing you guys some light reading of what I do before sleep. So I don't always get to do it, but why not show it? So I'm reading this book right now called Go With The Flow, and I am about... 52 pages in. Don't know how long it is. I hate looking at the page number. I just like going for the ride. With that being said, I am just trying to figure out what's happening mostly with the book. So I guess I'll vlog it every like couple 40 minutes. Again, so far I like it. And it's talking about this little girl who just got her period in school and what that is for her and how some uh, some of her classmates ridiculed her, make fu made fun of her. Um, she's smaller than the rest of the kids in her high school. She feels like an outcast. Then she gets her period. Most of us been there. Got the period at school. And... She was wearing white pants and then had uh, period stains on the back of her pants. So one of the girls who helped her went to the bathroom with her and was just upset. She was like, why is this okay? And when I say this okay, meaning that she was upset that they had like a little um, box where you put money in and you can get a pad out. And she was like, this is not okay. This is not accessible for people who don't have money to buy a pad. And it's not accessible for people who um, need the pads. And when I say that, I mean that the machine was never filled up with pads. So every time you try to like get a pad, you couldn't even get a pad. So the girl is very upset and she's like, why is toilet paper free and pads are not free? She said, it's not okay that, you know, our government is taxing our periods, which is called the pink tax for those of us who don't know about that. So, so far, I'm like, I feel you, girl. I feel your pain. I feel what's happening. It's all trash. I get it. So, I'm gonna come back to you and let you know how I feel about other parts of the book. So... Reading on, there's a lot of tones of social justice. There was a part where um, this black girl is like, I'm black and I'm also Latina and, you know, women get paid less wages. And there is a white girl who's just clueless. She clueless. She's like trying to make everything like cookie cutter and trying to put on this fasana that these things don't matter and you know in the sense of like it happens to all people which is a very destructive and non-empathizing statement to somebody who is in a marginalized community so I hope this character gets better po bachimo po bachimo I feel like I can talk about this book until I'm blue in the face. One line that resonated with me, I'll read it to you. But second of all, why are people so weird about talking about periods? It's natural. 50% of the population gets a period. But it's like this huge secret we can't talk about. That makes no sense. <laughs> As a woman, I feel... That it's ridiculous how we have to do the secret hand exchange of I give you a tampon, you give me a tampon. It's sad that you can't go into bathrooms and they're not like free and readily available. Condoms are free. You can go anywhere and get condoms for free. Of course you can go to Walgreens and pay for them, but are we giving out? Free pads, free tampons, free other things. But I guess when it has to do with a woman's body, I guess we're not that progressive. And I know that there are some companies that do give out free uh, tampons or pads 
when women are menstruating, but not that's not the norm. And it's ridiculous that these kids are at school and can't get pads. And let's be real, I can relate to that. And then there was one page where it was like, one of the girls, her friend was, you know, who was very upset. She went looking up things and it's like, horror stories, period talk in public, tampon tax, um, free bleeding. It's just all these different types of things. I know even if I talk about my period in public, people are like, oh my god, you can't talk about, no, I'm gonna talk about how these cramps are the devil. There's a little demons jumping on my uterus and I'm dying. Fucking dying. I don't see why we gotta keep stuff like that to ourselves it's our body it's our bodies it's natural people have periods in the story this book is getting me too hype for 12 30 at night just saying it's happened i got an arch nemesis in this book and it's these little how do i describe it these little these little girls in this high school calling the girl who had period blood on her pants bloody mary you know karma <laughs> karma is ready karma lets no man slide it lets no person get away it is about that life all the time if she so happened to fall down the stairs break her ankle because she can't do cross country anymore it's just karma, making sure it collects his debts. My favorite passage, I must read it to you. Let's get closer. Sometimes I wonder how different it would all be if women weren't the ones having periods. Obviously, women aren't the only ones who menstruate. Trans men and gender non-conforming people menstruate too. But it's the fact that women has historically done it that makes it the problem. Overall, women have been considered second class, second class citizens. You know, the patriarchy and all that barf. Classic. So I'm at the part of the book where um, one of the little girls is talking about missing class. Her teacher is like, I'm concerned that you're missing class. So she lied and told them she has headaches, but she has like crippling cramps. And there's a couple days I couldn't go to work, couldn't go to class because Satan himself was being reborn in my uterus. So all I got to say is I relate. I thought this book was amazing. It was so good. It was so good. I think that Lily Williams and Karen Schneeman did a fantastic job of talking about the complexity of having a period. This is a great read, quick read. Probably took me an hour and 20 minutes. Get into it. If you like my channel, you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and have a wonderful day.